Seven employees of the two companies involved in pipeline distribution of propene on the day the Kaohsiung gas explosions occurred have been listed as suspects. Prosecutors believe negligence by the companies, combined with faulty construction, could be what caused the blasts that killed 30 people. A break in the rain presented an opportunity for investigators to cut a two-meter section of buried pipe used by LCY Chemical Corporation. The incision was made using a water jet cutter. With about four tons of propene remaining in the line, this technique reduced the chance of sparks causing another explosion. The entire process was monitored by Kaohsiung environmental officials to ensure no further leaks occurred. This section of pipe, located in soil, was cut to compare it with a section of pipe previously removed from the culvert where the original propene leak occurred. Investigators want to understand the difference in corrosion between buried pipe and pipe exposed to water in the culvert. Prosecutors have also begun to assign blame for the deadly disaster. On July 31st, when China General Terminal and Distribution Corporation delivered propene to LCY Chemical. The two sides detected pressure abnormalities in the pipelines, but did not report them. Prosecutors have therefore decided to list a total of seven employees of the two companies as suspects for alleged occupational negligence resulting in death.